Hi everyone, welcome back to the next section. In this section, we will learn how we can create our own custom annotation and process it to generate code. First, I will tell you how to get the starter project. It is very important as it is needed for this course. Starter project contains the basic setup like dependencies to quickly get started. Then we will actually create a custom annotation to generate code. This is the course repository. Here you will find the resources needed to complete the course. For this section, go inside source code. Here you have starter project and final project. You can clone this whole repository and inside starter project, you will get this KSP sample app. This is the starter Android project ready with basic setup. You need to open this in your Android studio. You also have the final project that you can refer to in case of any problem. Now let's go to Android Studio with the starter project ready. This is the starter project. Once you open the starter project in your Android Studio, make sure it is working absolutely fine. In my case, it is working absolutely fine. Now here for the first example of KSP, I want to cover a very simple use case. For example, let's say I have a data class named user with two values. Now here, I want to create an annotation that I can use with classes and this annotation will generate extension function for the class to convert this class to JSON string. Simple and effective, right? Now let's say we want to create an annotation named generate to JSON. Now to create this annotation and to use KSP for generating the code, we need to create a new module. So go to new, select module and from the template, select Java or Kotlin library. For the name, I will write KSP core. This is the package name and I will write the class name as generate to JSON. Hit finish and we have our module here. Now first, Open the build.gradle file. Now here, I will change the Java version to 17 because in this project, I'm using Java 17. Now, we need to add the KSP plugin. Now the plugin is already added in our version catalog file. If you want to see it, you can open this Gradle folder and open this file that is libs.versions.toml and inside this file, we have all the libraries and plugins that are needed for this project. So here I just need to write alias, libs, plugins and ksp. Now we also need to add the ksp library. So we need the dependencies block here and we need to add this library. All these libraries and plugins are already added in our version catalog file. Once you make these changes, sync the project and now you can create your own custom annotation. So inside this module that we just created, we have this class that is generate to JSON. Now we don't need a class, but we need an annotation class. So we have annotation class generate to JSON and whenever we define an annotation, we need to define two things. The first one is target. And to define target, we can use another annotation that is target, of course. And for the target, we will define annotation target dot class. Now this means we are going to use this annotation for classes. If you want to use the annotation for functions, you can use other types that you have here. For example, function, constructor, value parameter, and a bunch of different values. But for this use case, we want class. That is why I have used class here. Now I also need to define retention type. Now for this use case or for this annotation, I want the retention as annotation retention dot source. It defines the retention of this annotation. Here we are telling the retention to be source. It means this annotation that we created will be part of the source code only. And when we compile the project, this annotation will be discarded by the compiler 
and it will not go in the compiled byte code. Now if you open here, that means if you command click the source, you will see we have binary. That means annotation is stored in binary output, but it is invisible for reflection. And we have runtime. That means annotation is stored in the binary output and is also visible for reflection. And it is the default retention. So this is the annotation that we created. Now what we will do is, we will go to the app level build.gradle file and we will add the new module that we created. So here we will write implementation, project and then ksp core. Now sync the project, go to the user class that we created and here we will use this annotation. Now just creating annotation will not generate code. We also need to write the processor. But processor we will write in the next video.